Hi everyone, I'm Shauna, and I don't, I'm kind of nervous because this is like my first YouTube video, and I just wanted to go on here, show you like a natural makeup look, and how to get this in some of the products that I use, and I hope you like this video. First, I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. hydrating face primer, and I'm going to put that all over my face and down my neck to start off my base now i'm taking my anastasia brow powder duo in the color ebony and i'm going to fill in my brows what i do is that i usually take the darker color in the duo and do it on the ends of my eyebrows and then i take the lighter shade and i line and fill in the front half of my eyebrows with that color Now I'm taking a spoolie to blend in the product. Next I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Light Sand and I'm going to use that to spot conceal all over my face. I don't really like using foundation when I'm doing a natural makeup look just because it looks and feels heavy to me. So just doing spot concealing really helps feeling lightweight and it looks like you're wearing less makeup than you actually are. I also like to blend it out with my finger just to give it a much more natural look because sometimes when I use a sponge it absorbs too much of the product or when I'm using a brush it doesn't give me enough coverage that I need. Sorry what I'm saying in the video and what I'm saying now doesn't match, I just decided last minute to do the voiceover. Now I'm going back with, in with the concealer and just going over some spots that I thought needed a little bit more coverage. Now I'm going to take my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and I'm going to conceal under my eyes and drag the concealer all the way down to the end of my nose just because I get a lot of redness around that area. Now I'm going to use a Real Techniques mini sponge and I'm going to blend the concealer out. Notice how I didn't put the concealer under my entire eye and I just did it under a portion of it. It's just because it gives it a much more lightweight feel and it doesn't look too heavy. Next I'm taking an e.l.f. brush and my Cody Airspun powder in the color Translucent to set under my eye and around my nose just so we don't get any creasing. Now I'm taking my MAC Studio Fix Powder in the color C3 and I am going to set my entire face with this except under the eye just because we already used the Cody Airspun Powder and using too much powder in one area makes your face look cakey and this is supposed to be a natural makeup look. Not only does this set the concealer that we use to spot conceal in my face where I put the primer, but it also adds me a enough color just because my neck and face never match. So adding this color to my face would match my neck. Next I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And right now I'm using the darkest contour shade. I think this is a, I think it's called Sombre. I don't know. The packaging has it all weird. And then I'm taking the lightest contour shade, and I think this one's called Subconscious from the same Kat Von D palette. And I'm gonna blend the light and the dark contour shades together to give me that perfect like contour shade, just because. One color isn't good enough for me.
Then using that same light contour shade, I'm contouring the sides of my nose and the tip of it just because I have a really big nose. <laughs> Now I'm going to be taking my Cody Airspun powder again and just setting the sides of my nose and underneath the contour just to give my face a little bit more definition. Next I'm going in with my MAC Studio Fix powder again just to wipe away the bake that I had under my contour. Here I'm just taking a clean brush and I'm just blending away the excess powder on my nose and then I'm going to go back in with my Real Techniques brush to blend out the contour. Now bronzer! <laughs> Sorry I love bronzer, it just makes me so tan. And here I'm using the Benefit Hula bronzer and I'm just going to apply that everywhere that I contoured with the Shade and Light palette. Here I'm just taking an e.l.f. I think it's just called a powder brush and just using that to bronze up my skin. Now I'm going to go into blush and I'm going to use my Tarte blush in the color Seduce and I'm going to apply that all on the apples of my cheeks and blend it out to, towards my ears just to give me a flush of color in that area and then I'm going to apply some of that on my nose just to give it a little bit of a sunburnt look. Now I'm using my e.l.f. Shimmering Highlight Powder in the color Starlight Glow and I'm going to be applying this on the high points of my face such as the tops of my cheekbones, above my eyebrow, and sometimes I even do it in between my eyebrows. And here I'm just taking a little bit and applying it on my cupid's bow. Now going back to the same light contour shade that we used before, I'm going to contour underneath my lip and above my lip just to make my lips look even bigger. Now I'm taking an e.l.f. lip liner in the color Natural and I'm going to be lining my lips and even filling in my lips with this color. Now I'm taking a NYX lip liner in the color Nutmeg to give my lips even more definition. And now I'm taking an e.l.f. lip plumping gloss in the color Mocha Twist just to give my lips, I mean, who just, I just want my lips to be bigger. Is that too hard to ask? Here I'm applying my Glossier Boy Brow in the clear shade just to set my eyebrows because I have wild eyebrow hairs that need to be set in place or else I just look like a mess. Next, I like to set my face before doing mascara because whenever I do mascara and then set my face with a setting spray, all my mascara tends to like run down my face and I don't want that. So I'm going to set my face with the Mario Badescu Rose Water and just spray it all over the face. Here I'm using the Real Techniques sponge to go over my face after I set it with the setting spray just to blend everything in a little bit more. Now I'm going to take my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise in the color Black is Black. It's the waterproof one and I'm going to do a couple of coats on my eyes just to give it a lot of volume 
I love this mascara. I think it's amazing. It gives me so much volume and it just makes my lashes look really big. So this is the final result. Just a very natural, kind of glowy makeup look. I obviously don't wear makeup every day, but when I do and I want it to look a little bit more like my skin but better, then this is what I do. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.